So hi everybody, this is Fibro Jedi, and this is going to be my tour of the Manan Stronghold. Um, it seems that both myself and Rach underscore Games, also known as Zamzam, had the idea at precisely the same time, um, only she was much quicker in getting herself sorted and doing her blog post. So I checked with her and this is all fine, she's happy for me to do this as well. So. This is uh, Talitha Coombs, um stronghold, and I will be showing you the various areas in it. Um, I apologise in advance if my voice sounds a bit weird occasionally. I've been fighting a cold for about four days, so I'll try my best not to sound like a droid. So the first thing I want to point out, I'm going to bring the UI back up briefly, um, is that this stronghold is just 54% complete. Um, I will be keeping it at about that. I may push it up to 60%. Um, the reason being, and I'll show you even from here what I mean. Manan, when you visit it during Shadow of Revan um, for the Flashpoint, that's pretty much all you're there for apart from a few conversations. It has a very clinical white look to it, so even these buildings on the horizon and the outdoors, certainly before you start decorating, it's all very clean, uncluttered and clinical. Now you might argue it's too clinical, um, but that's where your decorating skills have to come in. But even here there's no, none of the uh, Manan subs out there, you can't see anybody doing anything out on the water, it's very clear, crisp. And because of that, I didn't want to spoil the feeling of minimalism that Manan's structures give you. Um, now, you may possibly have ideas and tips as to how to make the Manan Stronghold hit a much higher completion percentage than I have um, without it looking cluttered. Any suggestions, please do bung them in the comments, either on the blog post or on the YouTube video. Anything that's done on YouTube I will try to update the blog post with so that your ideas are attributed to you and are shared with the community. So here we go, I will start to take you around the different areas. You'll discover that my general idea to stronghold design is to create a purpose or a story behind every area as much as I physically can. Um, so I'll take you through each one and explain why I've done things the way I have. So first and foremost, um, when they first brought out strongholds, the idea was to give you and your legacy this amazing fortress to defend yourself against your foes or whatever the latest sales pitch was at that time. Um, on that basis, I take them at their word and I have some huge guns um, head pointing out to sea um, and obviously into the sky you're never sure who may possibly invade um, as things currently stand for all I know Theron Shan might be um, so aside from that I've tried to give the outdoor here a a more natural and um, an open feel to it so instead of locking up the animal mounts that my various characters have here um, I have given them room and space to enjoy the fresh air and not cluttered up the landing area at all here. You'll spot I've also put in as many as I could get hold of at the time um, items of nature, plants and trees etc. So here I've got some of the Rishi palm trees which thankfully are really cheap at Fleet. <clears throat> I've got this which is in my point of view um, one of the best items from the Rat Ghoul event, the ginormous blue flower, which looks really pretty. So although we do have the clinical lab feel to the rest of it, there's no reason you can't have a bit more of nature peeking through. Now as I said, to take security pretty seriously, Talitha, this Talitha is in the post Eternal Throne post Theron Shan betrayal um, part of the story um, and so as her role has always been peacekeeper um, I've tried to balance Republican and Imperial interests as much as possible so I have two Republic one Imperial two Imperial one Republic here 
Um, and roughly the banners are about 50-50, but I only recently unlocked the PvP requirement for banners, so they're probably not quite balanced. Because I want this stronghold to be open to visitors, as well as scaring off my most dangerous enemies, um, I have put the um, the bar, the usable bar in fact, from the Narshadar life, nightlife event out here. Um, Arkan and Kaleo and Doc, if you were not a hologram, um, trying to choose which drinks they want to partake in. The last thing I've done out of this front area here is um, put Blizz around here. Um, he is back sort of freelancing, I suppose, despite the fact he's sort of part of the alliance. Um, and here he is selling scrap and making profit from as many of the, my visitors as possible. And can you blame him for that? Back to his old tricks, and why not? So, let's move on through. Again, I tried not to clutter this area up too much, so um, I think some of these little decorations came from conquest packs. Something like that, anyway. The entranceway here is pretty um, uncluttered. I've just got a very nice lobby here to try and make it as welcoming as possible. So let's head up first to... Oh, I'll put the UI back on for that. Um, to the rooftop garden. And now I don't know if anybody else has this bug, but every time I use a lift in the Manan Stronghold, I end up facing the lift when I come up. Right, now, now my utilities I've purposefully put at the centre of my stronghold. The reason for that being is that in previous stronghold designs I've put them in the first room, which means I didn't take time to appreciate all the effort that goes into designing and decorating a stronghold. So this way I have to come in and see what I've done, enjoy the home, not just use it as um, a clutter-free GTN kiosk. So I do have all the, my, the normal utilities in here, um, decorations droids, which predominantly for me are repair droids. Um, lights up here fr again from the Narshadar nightlife event. And I believe that tree came from either an anniversary or a life day event, and I can't remember which. Again, um, living force, Talitha doesn't want to be detached from nature. Um, hence nearly always riding her preferred Tauntaun mount, um, which there is a huge story behind that. Um, so I've tried to use some of the, the ferns from Yavin decorations. Um, on the whole I've had to decorate this on a budget, a uh, credit budget. I don't spend money on packs, um, although some people have been very generous in donating um, decorations to me, so some things have come from others which I've been very, very grateful for. So yeah, I purposely put this in here so that I use my stronghold and enjoy the efforts and the cost, of course, in setting the stronghold up. So let's carry on through to the, the actual bit that is the rooftop garden. I'm, I know categorically I did not um, buy or obtain the statue, I'm pretty sure that was a gift. But the reason this is out here, aside from its totally ginormous um, is just as an expression for Talitha towards Zalek. Um, Zalek is a, a, doesn't say very much, he's very much a dark side Sith despite the fact that just for laughs he's in more Jedi looking garb here. Um, Talitha does actually uh, respect Zalek as a Sith and as a dark sider. Um, and they get on because she knows when to show strength. She is loyal and to those that are loyal to her and that is that suits Zalek to, to, to the T. He, he wants people to uh, acknowledge his strength, to honour his strength um, and to not mess with him. So why shouldn't he be admiring a really powerful statue? No reason at all. Um, Rakata tribesmen here just put in, I just thought because Zalek is a, a warrior, um, Kalish warrior effectively, 
that why shouldn't he spend time around um, warriors from a different tribe? Um, so that's why I've put those in there. Again, I've because this is the rooftop garden, um, I've done as much as possible nature-wise. So we've got some, I believe they're Makeb topiary trees, a bit more of the Yavin ferns. Um, and the other decoration I picked up from the Retcall event. <coughs> Excuse me. The other bit of a story that, that goes on up here. Um, if you have recruited Gus, who actually at this point is in fact a Force user. I don't know if anybody else picked that up. That despite him pretending to be a Jedi all those years in the Smuggler story... Um, when you do recruit him from the very dodgy force user he is under, he does actually heal you with the force. He is using a proper lightsaber. <coughs> Please do excuse me. Um, but in this instance, if I'm going to have him around my stronghold, it's safer to give him a job. So he's going to be here serving drinks to other people who come out up here for refuge. Uh, of course, between Gus and Nico here, I doubt there's going to be many drinks left. And Skadge is not exactly a socialite, um, so I gave him his own little tent here, um, a speeder, so that he can run away when he feels like it. Um, he's actually quite fun to fight alongside, um, but I've never really got on with him, and I've never had the guts to recruit him into an alliance. <clears throat> okay, so that's the rooftop garden. Let's have a look now at what I've done under the water. And again, I'm facing the lift. Joy. Okay, now this room is probably one of the most purposeful and is something I have tried to do in all of the strongholds I have had on any server. So, these decorations, the, the rooftop Root, sorry, the ceiling mounted um, displays and the various terminals here. Some of those come from Star Fortress runs, which you can pick up on the solo uh, um, story. Sorry, some terminology sticks. Uh, the story versions, the ones you can run your own, um, some of the gold mobs still drop decorations. So, um, so I picked those up. So what I've purposely done in most of my strongholds here is to create effectively Alliance Intelligence Office. Um, I'm slightly annoyed I didn't get around to doing this before Crisis on Umbara because um, Theron would be here and he would be fully dressed. Um, I'm not sure why his hologram is just in his pants um, when Doc's out the front is actually dressed. So, uh, excuse the half-naked Theron, some of you may be even enjoying that. Um, that's not Talitha's preference. So yeah, try to create it effectively an Alliance Intelligence. And because of where Talitha's at in this story here, I have got uh, Malavai Quinn talking to Talos Drelic, um, sharing military um, and scientific information. Because why not? Knowledge is power whether you are Jedi or Sith or neither of those two. So apart from that I've tried to keep it as minimal as possible aside from the massive security presence I have here. So again I roughly have the Republic and Imperial troops 50-50. I've tried to decorate this more with galactic images, hollow photos, whatever the correct word for that is. Um, and decided that Vet could be effectively the receptionist down here, uh, outgoing, meeting all the people, and generally uh, having fun. I haven't fully decided what to do with this water hook here. That I put another statue there because that's the only thing I have with a hook of that size at the moment. I've seen some people have, I think, Crate Dragon uh, out here. Uh, I don't think I have one of those in my inventory, but that would be a neat idea. Of course, why Freight Dragon was in the waters of Manan is a story you'd have to work for yourself. <clears throat> so that's the middle room of this underwater laboratory. Now this part here uh, is a little more cluttered than I'd like and I might take out a few of the, the hooks here. 
Um, what I'm trying to do is create a an underwater spot for seclusion, a place of retreat to go to, away from the hustle and bustle of life and what's going on in the Alliance and the Eternal Empire, etc. Um, we have a semi naked Ashara here, which was not my intention. Uh, yeah. Um, and Senya, after everything that she and Arkan have gone through, why shouldn't she be just enjoying the water fountain and being in the presence of nature and some of the datacrons? Um, so yeah, it's important in life and in game sometimes to escape the rush um, of going from mission to mission and crisis to crisis, um, which is how the Alliance is currently working, I think. We don't seem to have a moment of respite. So what about the other room down here then? We're nearly there now. This room, in all honesty, probably needs redesigning. Um, <clears throat> and I will. But, I thought, well, you've got all these fairly neat rooms, mostly uncluttered. Um, you've got to have a storage room at some point, haven't you? I mean, you've got to keep your stuff somewhere. Um, so I've got a whole load of ammunition crates here. Uh, those guns out the front need powering with something. Um, we have a uh, power generator effectively here. There's no easy place to put one of those. I think I had one outdoors, but that's about as far as it goes. And I decided if I'm going to have um, a galactic map somewhere, that um, I would surround it in plants um, rather than just chuck all my digital clutter in one place. So there we go, we've got... Oh yeah, the last thing up here is you can't have everything perfect, so I have a repair droid. He may also be from a star fortress. Pretty sure he is. So there you go. Um, you may have different opinions on how to do a stronghold, and I would expect you to. I would be more than happy to discuss what you have done. I'm just going to take us out front because the light down here is poor. So just as a reminder, um, I have kept the minimalism purposefully uh, because I think that's part of what works in on this planet of Manan. Um, I have tried to combine nature and put stories behind um, why why I've put decorations, why I've put people in specific locations. Um, if you have any tips. Um, on how to improve this and especially on the can you improve the percentage um, the completion of Manan without actually making it look cluttered then I would be more than happy to do that and if you're on Red Eclipse or Shadowlands I wouldn't mind visiting a 75% plus completed one to see how you have achieved that. So if you made it this far Thank you very much for stopping by, um, and I hope my cold hasn't made my voice too droid-like. So until next time, may the force be with you.